So a few months ago, we knew that Lydia Geneva was going to be representing Bulgaria at Junior Eurovision. Her song has finally been released. It is called Magical Day. Jump straight into it. Emily, what are your thoughts on Magical Day last year's host's entry? Um, I really like this song. Um, as soon as I heard it, I was like, oh, it makes me so happy like, to listen to it. It's so cheerful and I, I don't know, it's just, she seems to be really loving what she does when she's singing that song and that's one thing I just love about the whole contest is that you can just tell these kids just love to sing and this is just the general feel I get from this song. Um, and it's it's quite catchy as well. It, it like the tune gets stuck in my head. So yeah, I'm all positive about this one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't mind it. I, I don't know why, but I, was, I wasn't expecting this. I I have no idea why. I wasn't entirely sure what I was expecting this year, to be honest. But yeah, it's 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 not a, it's not a bad song. I have no real issue against the song. You know, it's a nice song. She sings it well. I don't remember exactly how the melody goes, but I haven't listened to it for a while, and that's, you know, maybe not the best thing if it's not constantly stuck in your head, but yeah, like I said, I think it's fine. The music that I released with it was all about, you know, kids together and whatnot, which is quite a nice message, lots of flags and all this, so I'm guessing that's going to be very similar for the staging. I just, I'm just going on a hunch there, but yeah, from first, first impressions, no real issue with the song. I don't think it's that bad. <laughs> so obviously last year, Bulgaria hosted. Um, do you think this is a solid entry to follow up on? Do you think they actually want to win it and host it again? Because they seemed like they really enjoyed it last year. So do you think this is something they're really passionate about, I want to say? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think Bulgaria are especially like very passionate about both the Junior Eurovision and Eurovision itself, especially recently. Um, they've been a lot more active and you can tell they're actually really trying. Obviously 2014 in Junior Eurovision they did really well um, which then led them on to 2015 they even hosted it um, and then this year I think they're still trying to be just as strong as they were um, for the past two entries so I think, I think they are really trying um, and personally for me I think this could be in a, a it has a good chance of doing well. Not sure about winning just yet. Not entirely sure. I think I will have to wait and see like what the staging's like and things like that before we can decide. Um, but for me personally, I think it's probably top five finish, maybe fifth. Yeah, I'd like to say I do think it's a solid entry. You know, I have no real major issues with the song. You know, it shows they are trying at least, which is always good to see. Yeah, again, I'm not sure how this is going to do. I say it could be a top five, but yeah, you know, they seem to be doing well in the junior contest, you know, and obviously they've got four for a poly in actual Eurovision, so it seems like they're really pushing. I'm not sure if Bulgaria can win it again or what, but I am expecting a high place in Bul for Bulgaria, whatever that might be, but I'm not expecting them to be near the bottom on the 20th at all. So, to round this off, as always, what is your mark out of 10 for Lydia Gadeva and Magical Day of Bulgaria? Uh, I'm thinking for this one, uh, 8.5. Um, it will probably go up. It might even become my favourite. I'm not sure yet. But for now, it's up there. Defi it's definitely up there, so... That's good. I'm going to have to give it a 7.5. Like I said, I think the song's good. I had no real issue about it, but at the same time, nothing majorly stands out for me going, oh my god, this is amazing. So, I think a very respectable 7.5 is all I can really give it. So, that's what we think of Lady Gadeva and Magical Day for Bulgaria. Will they be having a Magical Day in Malta? We'll have to wait and see on the 20th of November. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and all our social medias, and we shall speak to you next time. <laughs>